His Audience by Marguerite Brie, read by Marguerite Brie. With glamour and starry charm, the motivational speaker glided across the imposing stage. Confident, self-assured, spectators' eyes followed his every move, desiring to absorb his success. His every pore oozed achievement, wealth, fame. His elegant three-piece designer suit, expensive watch and well-filled wallet cried triumph. The audience knew he had only in five-star restaurants. His bank account was exploding and his face was omnipresent globally. His popular speeches, combination of steel and crystal looks, provided his stage name, Mr. Ambition. Dramatically, his charisma and brooding eyes engaged attention. With a joke, he opened his inspirational speech to instantly capture his audience's heart. His mega smile was timed to give the illusion of talking personally to each individual. Mr. Ambition knew how to make audiences feel special, unique. Yet, beneath the charm was contempt. How easy to extract their money. They actually paid exorbitant fees for seating, luncheon, cheap box, tasteless fodder, and merchandise. Audiences wanted his face on bags, pens, and so much more. How lucrative for him. Believing the audience came to see his magnificent self, he swaggered. Being overly arrogant, his management skills had suffered. Hazily, he tried to remember who exactly he was addressing. Vaingloriously, he continued, Like I always say, a dream without ambition is like a car without gas. You're not going anywhere. You should copy this down from the PowerPoint, he quipped. Instead of appreciative chuckles, sparks of angry annoyance ignited. Mr. Ambition felt the negativity keenly, yet thought he could easily regain his auditorium's favour. It was then he glanced at posters representing his audience. Crikey, he only was addressing members of the Sean Hampton fan club. Stupid to pass a Sean Hampton quote off as his own. Bilge water squished in his stomach because furthermore, he was also addressing the anti-plagiarism society. Calamity, his heart shuddered with the reality that he was being televised live being booed off stage with catcalls from Hampton fans and anti-plagiarists. Quote your sources, don't plagiarise. He realised something profound. Ambition gets hired. Arrogance gets fired. Unceremoniously leaving, he endeavoured to think where he had acquired this quote. Google. <laughs>